Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on how to calculate percentile rank using Microsoft Excel. So I have here a Microsoft Excel workbook with one worksheet and it has some fictitious data loaded into it. In the first column, column A, I have participant ID numbers and there are 100 participants. And then in column B, I have the scores for these participants on an instrument that measures aptitude for counseling assessment. The highest potential score on this instrument is 100, and the lowest is 0. So for this data, I want to determine the percentile ranks. I want to be able to, to look at the percentile rank for each participant based on the corresponding scores. There is a process in Excel under the data ribbon, under data analysis, uh, that can do that. Now, in your data ribbon, if you don't see the data analysis item available, go to File, Options, Add-ins, select Analysis Tool Pack, and near the bottom, click the button labeled Go, and check off Analysis Tool Pack. If you don't see the data analysis, it'll look like this. It'll be unchecked. Check it off, click OK, and that menu item will appear. So we're going to select Data Analysis, and you can see there's many different types of processes available. We're going to select Rank and Percentile, and click OK. Now I'm going to return this to how it looks by default. So this is how this dialog will look by default. In the input range, we're going to load B1 through B101. So that contains the label and all 100 records. And the label is in the first row, so we're going to check that box. And for the output range, we're going to select cell E1. Now you can see in uh, the way I've configured Excel, I've frozen the top row so that the labels will always be visible. All right, so after that output range is entered, click OK. And you can see all the different scores the rank and the percentile rank for all the different participants. The one thing that's potentially confusing is the first column in the output is labeled point. And that represents the corresponding number in the actual participant group. So point six would be 1006, but it would be row 7. You can see point 6 has a score of 98, and that's right from the data set. So I'm going to show you a way in a minute uh, how to have this data display as the participants and not as point. But taking a quick look at the output, uh, as you look at the various uh, what would be uh, participants. You can see their scores, their ordinal rank, and their percentile rank. And it gives you this data for all 100 records. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to convert the point into the corresponding uh, participant ID number. Now remember, you simply can't copy over this data because the order's now been changed, because it's rank ordered. But there is a function in Excel that we can use that will display the correct value for us, the index function. So I'm going to start it in J2, kind of out of the way. And the array for index, the index function, will be A2 all the way through a101. Now 
I'm also going to lock in the row for autofilling using the dollar sign right before the 2 and right before 101. Put a comma and then the row number is going to be E2. So you can see this now displays the correct participant ID that matches this point. And since I locked the row with the dollar signs, I can autofill all the way down. And you can see that these match the points all the way down. Now the data in this array is dependent on the data in column E. So I'm going to select this data and copy it and move over one column to the uh, K column. And I'm going to paste it as value, values and number. So now the data contained in column K is not dependent on a function. So I'm going to delete column J. And I'm going to delete the data in column E. I'm going to select the data that's now in column J. And you can drag and drop this over. And you can do that without deleting the, the values under uh, column E. Or you can control X for cut, move to E2 and control V uh, as in Victor for paste and you want to make sure at the very bottom uh, to repair the line that's removed there which you can do from the home ribbon so now you have instead of point you actually have the participant ID so I'm going to expand this out a little and type that in. So now I feel like this is a little cleaner because you have the actual ID that matches the score and the rank and the percentile rank. I hope you found this video on calculating percentile rank using Excel helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me, and I'll be happy to assist you.